Uh, there were questions uh, uh, a couple of years ago around uh, military uh, when it came to other protests that were blocking critical infrastructures. Uh, my answer then uh, can, can, is consistent with my answer now uh, that uh, one has to be very, very cautious before uh, deploying uh, military in uh, in situations uh, engaging uh, Canadians. You don't use the military to deal with a political protest. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. The calls have been mounting for over the last week to send in the army to smash some heads to get rid of the trucker convoy that has taken over the nation's capital. That would be a bad idea. I happen to think that the trucker convoy should have left on Sunday night after several days of making their voices heard but they didn't. Many did, but others have decided they're going to hunker down. And now we suddenly have people who normally never want the police to do anything about protests, to never move in, to suddenly say, no, we need the army here and we need to smash heads. It's a bit bizarre. Isn't it strange that over the past several years, we've had rail blockades, we've had pipeline blockades, we've had all kinds of mass demonstrations that don't listen to the police, that do disrupt cities and neighborhoods or infrastructure. That hasn't been a problem for the liberal left who just think this is part of democracy. But now they want the army called in. They want the police to crack skulls. No, no thank you. This is a policing problem and not a military one. So I was glad to see Justin Trudeau's defense minister, Anita Anand, say so with a brief, terse, a poignant statement on Twitter the other day. Let me read it for you. The Canadian forces are not a police force. As such, there are no plans for the Canadian armed forces to be involved in the current situation in Ottawa in a law enforcement capacity. Let's hope it stays that way because Trudeau, when asked about it on Thursday, was a bit weaker. And we know that Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson and Police Chief Peter Slowly have both talked about this issue. Uh, it is not something uh, that anyone should enter in likely, uh, uh, lightly. Uh, but uh, as of now, there have been no uh, requests, and, uh, and that is not uh, in the cards right now. But again, this is not a military matter. This is a policing matter and an issue of police failing to do their jobs properly. Over the first few days, I thought that the Ottawa police had handled the protest well, like I've seen them handle so many large demonstrations over the past several decades. But what they didn't do properly was make sure this protest didn't take root. Now it's going to be tough to pull the protesters out now that they've decided it's time for them to go, that it's time to start acting the way a police force should, stopping people from honking all night, stopping them from taking over city streets that people do need to access to get to work, to get to hospital appointments, to get to school. All of those things should have been done earlier. Instead, slowly, and his police force, Jim Watson and his city staff, allowed this protest to take root in a way that never should have happened, in a way that I've never seen in all my years covering protests in Ottawa. Let me assure the people of Ottawa that we have no intent to stay one day longer than necessary. Our departure will be based on the Prime Minister doing what is right, ending all mandates and restrictions on our freedoms. It's going to be difficult, but that is up to slowly, along with the assistance of the RCMP, the OPP, and other municipal forces that are there, to do their jobs, not lay this on the Canadian Armed Forces who are not equipped for dealing with civilians. If you want bad things to happen, call in the army. It's going to get tough for police to deal with this protest. It could turn ugly and we're going to see batons coming out. We're going to see fights breaking out. We're going to have the SIU investigating police brutality claims. All of that is likely going to happen. But one thing that shouldn't happen is turning the Canadian Armed Forces upon its own citizens. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below, share this on social media, and of course, subscribe to our channel.